Hello guys, welcome back to Being Mrs. Frazier. I'm Tammy. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on my video today. We have a lot of cleaning to get to. It is extra dusty. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start here in the living room and then we will be moving on to the dining room and we also have some laundry to get done. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. video a little less chatty today maybe let you guys enjoy the music somewhat or maybe you guys can turn it on the TV and clean along with me um, but I am using the love Meg multi surface spray today so I can just get it all done I absolutely love this spray uh, she's obviously not sponsored I paid for this with my own money she is not paying me to say this um, I just, I love her spray. My favorite scent is the Cucumber Melon. However, I think I'm using the new Pine scent uh, on this day. So anyway, I just wanted to jump on, let you guys know what product I'm using. Because if you will notice, I am literally jumping from multiple different surfaces, from wood to glass uh, and all over. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. But let's get back to the music. Let's get back to the cleaning. You 
guys, it is getting so nice out here. Um, well, for this week anyway. I had to open the windows. It was just, it was like almost 80 degrees yesterday. Here in Nebraska, can you believe it? March in almost 80. We actually uh, hit a new record for, <laughs> for the area. So that was kind of nice. It was absolutely beautiful though. And it's really just getting me in the mood to get some spring cleaning done. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because I do have um, some videos coming up with some deep cleaning, some spring cleaning, you know, motivational videos for you guys. So make sure you stay, stay tuned for that. So you guys will get tons of motivation, tons of tips coming your way planned for the next couple of weeks. Bye. So long, my dear love. Things got so complicated, not like it was before. At the edge, and we should break it. let me know if you prefer more chatty videos when I talk to you guys or if you guys prefer just a lot of music like this one here today um, I kind of prefer the chatty ones but sometimes I know that just having a little bit of extra music and that just kind of helps with the motivation as opposed to just sitting here and chit chatting so you guys will have to let me know down in the comments whether you prefer this type of video with more music or if you prefer the chatty videos Like a ghost in my mind I can't escape you I need to believe it was right Letting you go 
you are like a ghost in my mind I wanna escape you But I do not believe it was right Letting you go I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Cause every song just reminds me Of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me Of you and it breaks my heart You're still here though we're apart I'm seeing your face in my dreams I can't escape you like a movie on repeat The scenes just go on I'm hearing your voice in my dreams I wanna escape you I really think I made a big mistake I want you to know I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart You're still here though we're apart Don't tell me it's over Tell me it's over now Don't tell me it's over now Don't tell me it's over Cause every song just reminds me Of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you Every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart You're still here So here it is guys, my dirty little uh, secret if you will uh, We have a skinny syrup problem I... <laughs> There is literally no excuse for as many syrups as we have. Um, we stocked up on fall syrups, we stocked up on winter syrups, and we just recently stocked up on like your regular non-coffee syrups, I guess if you will. Uh, we love Jordan Skinny Syrups. They are simply the best and there is literally no excuse other than that we like them. So uh, if you haven't tried them out, definitely do so you can find them i think on like instagram facebook pretty much anywhere uh the spiced cranberry is our favorite because we put that in our lemon water uh, or the cherry is so good too you can make your own limeades uh, you guys you just you can't go wrong we have not come across a flavor that we really haven't liked um but yeah so now you guys know i <laughs> There's my addiction, coffee and flavored flavored water. So, yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, but we just needed to go through and empty the box that I had just got in and upgrade, or not upgrade, uh, rearrange, I should say, uh, the coffee bar here just to get everything to fit. Things complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that? I would, cause I'm just loving this moment 
this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Alrighty guys, if you have made it this far in the video, thank you so so much. Go ahead and give this a big thumbs up and leave a little smiley face down in the comments for me. Let me know who uh, who made it to this part of the video. So anyway, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button, the bell notification, and again, thank you so so much for being here today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Until next time, bye! Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. I'm Tammy, and I appreciate you so much for clicking on my video today. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button, and let's get down to business. We're going to go ahead and get a bunch of cleaning done today here in the bedroom and also the kitchen. I also have a Mississippi roast uh, going for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned for all of that. So guys, again, we're just starting here in the bedroom. I'm going ahead and hanging up my husband's clothes that needed. That was kind of the final thing from him doing his laundry. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into getting these sheets changed. The weather is starting to turn on us. We went from beautiful spring weather to uh, nice back to a second winter here in Nebraska. And hopefully next week we are on a positive outlook for spring again. So I wanted to go ahead and take off these flannel sheets and get some regular um, cotton sheets, I guess, uh, if you will that are a little bit cooler for the spring and summertime. So how's the weather where you guys are at? Is it nice? Is it cold? I'm curious. You know, we actually haven't had a terrible winter really 
Um, there's been a few very frigid days, but we haven't had near the amount of snow that we normally do. I think we're somewhere near like the 10 inch mark for the whole season. We're usually, we're probably closer to like 30 inches. And I think even last year was well over 40 inches of snow. Um, so I'm curious what the weather is like where you guys are from. Uh, do you guys like the cold because your girl cannot handle it? <laughs> Truth be told, uh, I really want to move and I'm hoping that that happens soon so we can get away from the frigid cold of Nebraska. But anyway guys, let me know down in the comments. I want to know what the weather is like where you guys are from. So I put so much into making this bed, you guys, like tucking the bottom, you know, giving it like the hospital, nice crisp hospital corners. Um, I like the foot of my bed tight when I go to bed, you know, uh, or the sheets, I guess you, you could say, um, the blankets, sheets, whatever. I like them tight and tucked. My husband, however, does not. And if you guys have ever seen... Uh, any of my videos where I'm making the bed, you'll see that I have to retuck them a lot of times because he will rip them out from the bottom <laughs> so they are not tight on his feet. So are you guys tuckers? Do you guys like to have it nice and tight at the base uh, where your feet are or do you like the untucked sheet? Let me know. So I tried like a different little setup today with the pillows. You'll have to let me know if you like it or not. Um, I'm not sure. You guys, the pillow thing is kind of a pain. Uh, I go back and forth on how I set up my pillows. I love having throw pillows, but I feel like we need some like Euro size pillows instead of the smaller white ones. Um, they're just kind of out of my budget right now, but someday, someday I will get some bigger pillows because I definitely think it needs it, and maybe then I wouldn't have so many issues trying to set up the pillows on this bed. I don't know, but here we are. You know, I, I made it a little bit different this time. I kind of like it, but I'll probably go back to the way I was doing it before. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately and I appreciate that so much so I just thought I would give you guys a little bit of an introduction again for those of you that are new here I am Tammy uh, my husband and I are born and raised here in Nebraska we have been together for about 16 years married for 12 we have four kiddos Mia Hayden Kendall and Freddie uh, yes, you heard that right. We had three girls before we finally got our little boy. <laughs> we love them all so, so very much. They keep us extremely busy. Um, I am a softball mom, a band mom, uh, a, you know, piano, clarinet, all both kids played here in the house. However, our Hayden wants to try drums, so pray for me because that might be coming here soon enough. Uh, but anyway, guys, we have a lot of fun. We love to travel. Uh, I do share a lot of our traveling. I used to share here on YouTube, but I have recently kind of stopped on that. But I do share over on Instagram. So if you guys are following me over there, uh, definitely check that out. Uh, at being underscore Mrs. Frazier. So, and we also have three fun little fur babies. Uh, as you saw there, that was Miko. 
We also have our old man Stormy. He's the black cat that you probably won't see a whole lot. He tends to hide. Um, or, you know, he goes off and sleeps. He's a, he's a pretty old man. Uh, I think he's about 17 years old or something like that. He was my mama's cat. Uh, she passed and eventually he made his way to our home. So, anyway, then you have Miko. He's about two years old. And Lottie, our little calico girl, she is about a year. So, anyway, guys, we're just going to continue cleaning here. I try to be as real as possible with you. As you saw, I was just showing you the nastiness from the window. Um, I will have a, a deep spring cleaning video here coming shortly before the end of the month. I'm hoping to have that out. Uh, it kind of depends on how the weather plays out. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and jump back into this and finish up cleaning here. Sister, smile like that, I could never resist it. Smile like that, I can never resist that Smile like that, I can never resist it how well you guys can tell uh, in the video but in person I noticed it a lot I am using the method daily wood cleaner usually you guys I absolutely love this wood cleaner however I feel like it just didn't have the shine on the wood like it normally does um, I don't know if they changed their formula. This was a newer bottle, so maybe they did. Maybe they changed their formula. I'm not really sure, but I wasn't really loving it, and I was kind of getting frustrated as I was wiping all down all the wood uh, furniture. Uh, you can kind of tell, I guess, in the video. I'm not really sure, but anyway, yeah. So I usually use Method. However, we might be changing that up if it doesn't work out. So, I do like the uh, Love Meg multi-surface spray as well. And a lot of times, if I'm not using Method, I will use the Love Meg spray. Also notice if you are new, uh, my decor kind of, I like the kind of rustic-y, farmhouse-y feel. However, in our bedroom you'll notice it's more beachy. We absolutely love the beach. We love Florida. So our bedroom um, has more of like beach, beachy, uh, calm, neutral kind of vibes to it. Uh, but the rest of the house is more farmhouse -y slash boho slash westernish, I guess. It's not your bright, airy farmhouse-y. It's more of like the darker color farmhouse -y, like the browns and blacks and, and tans, colors like that. Um, yeah, so if that is your vibe, <laughs> welcome and make sure you subscribe. I do like to show kind of some decorating on my channel sometimes so outside of cleaning we do decorating and stuff like that so anyway back to vacuuming I love this vacuum this is my shark rocket shark makes the absolute best vacuums fight me you know I don't know <laughs> uh, I like them better than Dyson I have had everything I have had Dyson Hoover Bissell shark all of the above and Shark is just where it's at, guys. I love them. All 
Alrighty, we are on to the next day here, guys. Um, we finished up the bedroom yesterday. Today, we're going to be working on the kitchen. However, first, I would like to show you guys this meal, uh, this crock pot meal. It's so super easy. It's just a Mississippi roast. Uh, you can get a beef roast of your choosing. I just found a beef roast that was um discounted at sam's club you guys my tip for these rising beef prices i mean all prices are rising right now so crazy um but anyway um check out the discounted beef it might be expiring in a day or two but it is much more affordable and you guys can literally take it home and get it put right into the freezer or use it that same day um it's still good i was raised by or around uh beginning to end of the farming process so yeah definitely don't be afraid of those marked down beef prices or beef products so anyway guys back to the recipe uh it just needs a packet of au jus gravy a packet of dry ranch which you see I actually used we have a bigger container of it instead of a packet but anyway a jar of pepperoncinis the whole jar dump it in there a stick of butter and then I also add in carrots and red potatoes you can cook on low or on high it's up to you and how much time you have uh, usually I let it cook for about eight hours on low or you can do four hours on high it's totally up to you and your preference and how much time you guys have so definitely check it out and then also make sure you stay tuned to the very end and I will show you how it turns out So now that that is in the crock pot, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of clean up my mess and then I'm going to clean up the entire little uh, kitchen area that we have going on here. So first though, order of business is clearing off the counters. These are my built bars. They're a protein bar, but they are not your typical protein bar guys. They taste very similar to a candy bar and I love these. If I am having like a sweet tooth and I want something that is not so you know full of all the bad stuff <laughs> uh, like a Snickers bar I will definitely reach for my built bars they are so good I have a, a, a coupon link down in the comments or down in the description for you guys if you want to check that out I am not sponsored so nothing no big deal there but um, I just love them so much so I thought I would share them with you. This cutting board, you guys, have, has been around for forever. Like I told you, I come from uh, a farming family and, you know, family that works all throughout the beef industry. Um, so that cutting board actually came from when my dad worked at the local packing plant. It is like the cutting boards that they use when they're cutting up the beef or the cow or however you want to call it. <laughs> um, it's actually the same type of cutting board that they use and this cutting board is super old. My dad actually got it from my mom years and years and years and years and years ago. Uh, but, and then when she passed, I took it and I've been using it ever since. It is the best cutting board. I love it. So if you have somebody in the industry that can get you one, 
have them get you one. It is seriously the best. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this cleaned up. Just cleaning the inside of the windows. Again, I will be doing a spring clean here soon enough, guys, where I actually go into depth of cleaning my windows. You're definitely going to want to be here for that because over the winter and fall, they definitely got kind of gross. Um, yeah, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that screen spring cleaning video coming here soon. the microwave here so a tip from Tammy this is the easiest way to clean out the grime for your microwave take a glass bowl or I'm using a measuring cup whichever you have available to you and put some water and then I'm using some lemon essential oil and microwaving that for about five minutes or so and then well that's I guess cooking <laughs> if you will <laughs> Um, I'm just going to fill up the soap and get some other things done here. But again, tip from Tammy, to clean your microwave, put it, put the water and the essential oil in the glass dish, microwave it for about five minutes, and then here in a second you guys will see how easy it is to wipe out your microwave. Like, it just makes everything wipe off, no elbow grease involved whatsoever. It just, everything just wipes out easy peasy. So, however, warning, the glass dish will be hot. So make sure you use something. Do not touch it directly. Use something to remove it, like a hot pad or some, a towel or something to remove it. So I would hate for anybody to burn themselves. So make sure you do that. But anyway, see how easy everything just wipes completely out. Ugh, it, amazing. Amazing. But, and I promise you, it was dirtier than it looked. Sometimes the camera does not show really how gross and grimy things actually are. <laughs> so, th that could be very deceiving sometimes. One, two, three, four. Hey, we can never go back this road. We can never go back that way. I see you standing in the corner like it's okay. Don't you know that you move with your body? Also, I just wanted to make a note real fast here because you guys might be wondering. Uh, you won't see me sweep or mop in this video. That's because usually my girls uh, do it. That is their daily chores to sweep and mop every day. Sometimes I, if I feel like it needs just a little extra attention, I will, but that is not a regular thing. Um, we just have like a bona mop and then they just sweep with a regular mop and then follow up with the bona mop. No, sweep with a regular broom <laughs> and then mop with the bona mop. So most often you will probably not see that in my videos. Sometimes I will put it in my videos of me mopping, sweeping and mopping or vacuuming and mopping. Um, if that's something that interests you, go ahead and let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to include that in my next video. But here I was just showing you guys all the streaks on the stainless on the dishwasher here. And I'm using the Love Meg multi-surface spray. You guys, this is amazing. I love it, love it, love it. It is by far the best spray that I've ever come across. So anyway, guys, we are just about done here with the kitchen. So stay tuned and I will show you how the roast turns out. Your 
Alrighty guys, the roast is officially done and it is time to pull out all the veggies. So I'm going to go ahead and get the veggies out and then I'm going to try to get as much of the juice in the bottom of the crock pot transferred over to a pan so I can make some gravy with it. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh. So this gravy is super easy. Remember, it does already have the au jus packet, the ranch packet, and the jar of pepperoncinis in it. So it has plenty of flavor. You just need to thicken it up. Um, today, I chose to add some cornstarch to help thicken it up. Some days I use like a slurry of like milk and, or not milk, um, flour and water to help thicken it up. It's really up to you however you want to make your gravy. Um, however you, you know, you can make it however you'd like, like you normally would with any sort of drippings. But that's just how I did it today um, and it got perfect. It basically should coat the back of your spoon. That's how you know it's thick enough. So, or you know what, if you don't, if you like it thicker than that, then make it thicker than that. It's, it's to each their own guys, to each their own. But anyway, we're just going to get this finished up here and I can show you what it looks like. Dinner was delicious. The kiddos had seconds and thirds of the roast and the carrots and potatoes. So anyway, I also like to sometimes eat this with like just bread and butter. However, we did have some Cheddar Bay biscuits uh, mix that I got from Sam's Club in the closet. So I went ahead and make those as well. Anyway, guys, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. That sun is really getting me here. Uh, anyway, guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new here. Uh, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to join me on this YouTube journey. Um, but anyway, guys, we have a lot to do today. I need to declutter, clean, and reset up this basement office slash uh, craft room. Um, it's a hot mess. I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. <sighs> I'm struggling on the motivation to get it done, guys, but I know I need to get it done and get it tackled. And today's going to be that day. Tomorrow might be that day, too. It might take me a few days, but uh, go ahead and come along with me, guys, and let's, let's do this. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're just going to jump right into this. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did make tumblers for a little while, like the glitter tumblers that you can find or see um, on Etsy and stuff like that. I actually did have an Etsy shop for a few years as well, but in December I shut that down and then recently decided that it was time to get rid of all of my tumbler making supplies. So. Uh, that's a big portion of today's video is just decluttering all of those supplies and then pretty much everything with it. So um, I'm definitely sad to see it go, but happy at the same time that the person that I went to uh, is starting her journey and I think that she will absolutely love it and I'm so excited for her. Stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars. Baby, while we're 
So you notice me standing around for a little bit, uh, just kind of looking around. That's because I was feeling extremely like overwhelmed with this project, you guys. Like I, uh, I just didn't know where to start. It kind of got out of hand. Um, the collecting of supplies, I guess, if you will. And yeah, I, I just didn't know where to stand or where to start. So I was just kind of standing. <laughs> looking at everything, taking it all in, deciding what I wanted to keep, what I wanted to get rid of, um, and then eventually I just kind of jumped in. I jumped in and just started doing it. You'll see me go back and forth and back and forth um, on different areas, trying to decide what I wanted to keep, what I was going to get rid of. Um, overall though, I did end up getting rid of probably two-thirds of my items, so I'm actually pretty proud of myself of letting go of things that I have not used in quite a while, even though I didn't want to. Um, but at the same time, I knew that they needed to go because I wasn't going to use them, so. Anyway, we're just kind of decluttering, organizing. Again, you'll see me go back and forth between different areas and different items, but eventually, eventually I'll get on track. Hey, I say I'm doing alright, I'm doing just fine, but I'm getting scattered, and I cry when you're not around, because it matters, matters, dreaming of your kisses, in the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing, but I feel like, hey, I say I'm doing alright, I'm fine, but I'm scattered, we're just friends. I also wanted to make note, those shelves that the glitter are sitting on are so awesome. They are from Ikea. You can actually get the same ones at Target, but they're like double the price at Target. So I actually had them shipped to me. It was like $5 to ship them to me, which is so insanely cheap. In my opinion, um, it made it worth it. So I... I do love those shelves, however, now that I don't have the glitter, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, but it is what it is, so. Anyway, here I'm just trying to go along and p pick off, like, all the little pieces of, like, epoxy that had hardened onto the table. Uh, that was a job in itself. This table definitely collected a lot of epoxy, glitter, and paint over the years. So that's another thing you're going to see me do a lot of in this video is vacuuming. I felt like every time I got into some little area, I it ended up with junk all over the carpet again. So I vacuumed a lot just because it was starting to bug me. But anyway, I'm just trying to clean off this cube shelf because we are going to move it. I enlist Mia's help for this. Uh, it was much easier to have help moving it than trying to slide it across the carpet on my own. So I'm just trying to clear it off just to make the top a little lighter and then also again to declutter some of the items. You guys, I just want to apologize for the lighting. Like, watching this back, I'm like, oh my goodness, the lighting is terrible. Um, it's a basement, and it was sunny outside, so I don't know really what I was expecting, but the lighting is just terrible, and I apologize for that. But I hope it's not too much of a big deal. Um, yeah, so anyway, again, we're just kind of moving things around here. I cannot tell you how much this opened up the space though, getting rid of that table and then moving the cube shelves over there against the wall as opposed to being in front of my desk. Um, it really just opened up the space. Even just sitting here looking around, I I am just like amazed at how much better the area looks, how decluttered it looks, and open it looks. It definitely made it look much bigger in this basement than what it did with all my crap. <laughs> So 
tip from Tammy, I like to clean as I go. I do it with cooking, I do it when cleaning, I guess, cleaning, organizing, decluttering. Clean as you clean, right? <laughs> uh, does that even make sense? Oh my goodness, I don't even know where my brain is at. But anyway, um, that was another thing I was doing uh, besides vacuuming. I am definitely going through and just wiping and dusting everything down as we move it. From your bottle, baby, calling it wasted love, wasted love. I can't get enough of my baby. I'ma be wasted love, wasted love. <sighs> Alrighty, guys, I'm like feeling so overwhelmed with all my stuff. It's not even funny. Like, I literally feel like I could cry right now. Um, I got the shelves moved over there like you guys saw. I kind of went through everything and took pictures. Um, I didn't film that because I needed my camera. <laughs> uh, so I could take pictures of everything. And I actually did post all my cut making supplies on Facebook. Um, it'll be nice for whoever gets it because they're getting tons of stuff. Probably thousands of dollars worth of stuff for like 600 bucks. So, um, it kind of, I'm, it's like bittersweet, like parting with that stuff, but at the same time, like I know I can't always have it. Um, I really don't use it. So better for somebody else that maybe will use it. But anyway, like I said, I'm feeling so extremely overwhelmed. Um, let me flip you guys around. So as you can see, I kind of went through and wiped everything out, reorganized stuff. All this is going though, um, including all my glitters. I listed it all. We'll see what happens. I need to find somewhere to donate these, though, because they're just not selling. Um, I had them listed for, like, $2. <laughs> so, they're just not selling. I need to pick up all this garbage, though. Um, I still have a lot going on, so, as you can see. But, we're making progress, I feel like. We're getting somewhere. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's get back back to work and you don't have to be afraid I will hold you till the sun comes crashing down I'm yours until the end of time So I am just going through and trying to make a space for my aroma beads. I make a lot of car freshies, so um, I have a lot of beads, <laughs> a lot of scented beads, and I decided that I wanted to put them on these shelves to kind of declutter them out of the boxes. So they do have labels on the front of the jars, but to make it easier, I thought I would label the lids of the jars as well. Um, that way I don't have to pull out every single jar to look at the front where the label is. I can just glance at the tops and find the scent that I'm looking for. Fade away and your scars don't, your scars don't Say my name, stay with me till the stars fade away And your scars don't, your scars don't hurt Your scars don't hurt <laughs> After doing all these boxes and everything with these cups I think I've decided well obviously I said I was gonna sell them but I think I'm just gonna box it all up and move it off the shelves I don't know I think that would be I think that would make things a lot easier if I could do it that way but I haven't really decided I'm not 100% sure but I will 
say whoever recommended me using this little like coffee office coffee uh, organizer to organize my stuff for my cup making thank you um, I actually really liked it it worked out really well unfortunately um, yeah I it's got to go too I no longer have any use for it you guys this was so funny sidetrack moment here I was going through this box that has been sitting here by the stairs that has like some baskets and other stuff in it and I found like two huge handfuls of cat toys <laughs> I they must have like batted them off of the stairs and they fell into the box I'm sure they were so confused I'm like why where did my toy go but anyway we found them so Lottie was super happy because all her favorite toys were back like we bought her all these new toys again she thinks <laughs> anyway but Anyway, back to cleaning guys. I'm still just trying to box things up and just try to fit things where I can. I just want to say that that's not dirt that you see inside that shelf. That is definitely glitter. You would not believe the amount of glitter that I found everywhere. That was just stuck literally everywhere. It was behind my table on the wall. It was all over the chair, all over in that shelf, like glitter. Glitter went everywhere. I'm sure everybody will be so happy that I no longer have glitter in the house because it always seemed that there were, they would find glitter everywhere. And anytime I came down in the basement and did work or whatever, I would come upstairs and I would be covered in glitter. So I'm sure my family will be happy that that is no longer an issue. So these days that I was working on this basement, it was absolutely gorgeous outside. Uh, my kids spent like all day, multiple days this past week, just enjoying the outside. And it, you guys, it really made me ready for spring and summer. I am so happy that the warm weather is definitely on its way. I am not a cold weather person. Your girl does not like snow. <laughs> It is just not my thing. You will never hear me complain about the heat of the summer, ever, because it is so much better than the cold and the snow. So, anyway, while my kids were outside enjoying the beautiful weather, I was in here just going to town on my craft room slash office slash basement. But it needed to be done. It was fine. I will definitely be enjoying it, though, this weekend when the weather warms back up again. We did have a little bit of a cold front come through uh today and yesterday but again it's supposed to be like 75 i think here in the next couple days so i'm so excited for that where else or who else uh enjoys the warmer weather i know i do comment down below let me know can't stand to hear more today i'm gonna lock my door and stay inside a way until i'm safe again i have nothing more to put on i'm defeated and withdrawn just trying to understand where it went wrong always believe that nothing good in life is all right 
Alrighty guys, so I got all my cup stuff boxed up because the girl is going to come pick those up. My desk is still a mess, so that's fun, but we're working on it. Uh, I can officially get rid of this. I'm going to donate these water bottles. I just cannot figure out where I'm going to donate them to. So we've basically condensed everything down to these things, cubes, <laughs> uh, these drawers, and then I still have obviously that stuff, but, um, yeah, so this is all donate or not donate. I am actually selling this stuff and then there's the donate. So still got quite a bit going, but it is looking a lot, a lot better. <laughs> we're, we're moving along here, guys. Moving along. No one can bring me down. Here comes the fun part, guys. We are officially moving on to the desk. Oh, and there was so much. There's so much paperwork in my planners and everything that I needed to go through for the past couple of years. Um, I was finding stuff from like 2018, 2017. I, yeah, I definitely went through a lot. I found a lot that needed to be filed away. I actually found the title to our camper, why it was in all this, this randomness piles instead of put where the other titles of our vehicles are I don't know <laughs> uh, but I'm happy that I found it because we may or may not be selling it we haven't quite decided yet we haven't used it in a couple of years um, but what I really love our camper so I don't know I don't know if we're gonna sell it or not but I don't know anyway are you guys campers Do you guys have a camper or do you guys tent camp we tent camped for quite a few number of years before we got a camper and you guys, I kind of miss the tent. I'm not going to lie. I kind of, I kind of do. But anyway, this was a nice surprise too. I found pictures, my mom and dad's wedding picture, my father-in-law and mother-in-law, uh, my mom and me, you know, um, there was some in there of like my cousins, my sister when she was little and my grandparents. I definitely did not realize that I had all those pictures in there. So I, I should have finished going through that, but since it was all pictures, I just zipped it back up for a rainy day. I do not need to go through that and get all emotional <laughs> over old family pictures. So otherwise I would be sitting there all day, probably in tears and everything else, feeling all the emotions. So I needed to get back to work. Uh, this day had already gotten away from me. So back at it, back at it we are. And again, even on the desk, you will see me going back and forth, back and forth to different areas. Uh, there was no method to this madness. I, I just had to start and start somewhere and clean it up and then move it again and clean it up again. It, it literally, it, I did a lot of that uh, these last three days, just going back and forth, back and forth on things. But it is all done now, and I'm so excited for it. So make sure you stay tuned. We're almost to the end, guys. I definitely want to see, um, or I just want you guys to see the difference. I want to hear your reactions. So stay tuned. We're almost there. back on day three however I think this is the last and final day we are doing really really good um everything is pretty much gone except for a few things that I have left to sell um but everything is pretty much gone it is so open in here it is like ridiculously crazy um but anyway I still have to finish up my desk. So yesterday kind of got away with, for me with a bunch of little things. So I only did a very small amount, um, as you guys saw, but today we're going to knock it out and 
finish this up. But first, let me flip you guys around and show you um, what all is going on. So we got uh, everything pretty much organized. I'm going to keep this. Again, these will be donated. I just have to find somewhere where I can donate them. Um, they're brand new water bottles that I can't sell, <laughs> even though I tried. So, um, and then I will be getting rid of this probably, but for this video, it'll probably stay. Um, these shelves, I might just put pictures or something on for right now. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, but again, for now, they stay. So, and then... This stays, this stays. This has been cleaned out and organized. These are just kind of like pictures and memorabilia stuff that I really don't know where else to put them. So I need to go today through this cart um, and then these two baskets here. I'm trying to decide what to do with my scraps, if I should just scrap them, <laughs> pun intended, um, or if I should keep them. I haven't fully decided. But I did start down, start wiping down my desk. This portion of my desk is wiped down. And then I need to wipe down the rest of this and get everything dusted and finished up. So, again, we're doing pretty good. Pretty excited how things are turning out. Here is kind of an overview and look at how things are going. So, let's go ahead and get started. And I will taste every Feels so good when you're in my head And you're the fire, you're the flare so, as you can see, I had some helpers on this day. Uh, anybody else's cats get in the way all the time? <laughs> My cats are so nosy and they are always in the way. Um, I'm sure they're like, whoa, mom, wh what's going on? I'm like, what are you doing? Where's all our, our obstacle course going, you know? Uh, but they were definitely down here helping. I think they also love looking out these big picture windows that we have in the front of our house. Um, I rarely open the basement one just because I feel like people can really see into my house then. However, I wanted to see out and see the sunshine, so I definitely had it open. Uh, but I love it. I love the big picture windows, and I think the cats really enjoy them as well. But anyway, back to decluttering. You guys, I cannot believe I cleared this entire cart off. I'm still trying to decide if I want to keep the cart or not. Um... I put it over in my cell area, but I haven't listed it on Facebook yet because I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to get rid of it. However, I did declutter the entire cart, which I am very, very proud of myself for. Now. I do want to note, um, the decluttering process and cleaning process is very good. You know, it's definitely very healthy, very like for your mental health and stuff, just deep declutter items. However, don't go overboard. Don't don't overdo it. Don't get rid of things that you think you you'll use again because you don't want to, you know, already have it, get rid of it because you just had to declutter it and then like, oh shoot, you know, I actually kind of needed that. So just keep that in mind when you guys are decluttering. Um, that's definitely something that I've learned through this process. Um, you know, it's good to get rid of things. It's good to clear out things, especially if you aren't using them. But if you think that there's a chance that you might use it, hold on to it for a little bit longer. You can always get rid of it later. Um, but if there's a chance you might use it, you don't want to get rid of it. So just keep that in mind when you guys are decluttering. Yeah. <laughs> going through these baskets um actually so first 
If you didn't know, my husband made my desk for me. Um, I absolutely love it. And then we found these baskets that fit like perfectly and kind of act like drawers. Um, but anyway, as I was going through those baskets, I was finding like all these punches, like paper punches. I'm like, wow, this is so pre-Cricut. <laughs> um, you know, I'm like, I don't even use these. Why do I still have them? So I definitely decluttered some of them. Some of them though, I did keep just because it's not something, you know, I don't really want to start up my Cricut and, or my computer or whatever for that. Sometimes I'll just reach for the punch, but for the most part, I definitely did not need paper punches anymore. But anyway, now I'm just kind of trying to get all this dust out of here. You know, that's one thing, I love dark colored wood, but it just gets so dusty so fast. Uh, I'm sure part of that is because we need our ductwork cleaned out or, you know, whatever, um, in addition. But if you guys have dark furniture, I'm sure you guys totally understand what I'm saying. I am feeling so good by this point you guys the end is definitely near and as I'm going through and just cleaning off my desk or dusting my desk and getting things kind of put back together I I can see the vision and all the hard work that went into this and getting this room or area decluttered uh, it definitely feels really good but anyway just a few more minutes here guys We're just going to vacuum one final time here, give it one last good go through, and then I will show you what it looked like before, give you a little reminder here. Oh my goodness. You guys, I forgot how bad it was. It was really bad. Oh, but look at it. It looks so much better. I'm so excited, guys. Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new here. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It is free for you to do, but it helps me out a ton. We have a lot of motivation in today's video, guys, so I hope you stick around. Now, let's get started. I wanted to apologize for the lighting here, guys. Um, I had just dropped the kiddos off at school, so it was kind of early in the morning, and the sun was just not wanting to wake up on this day. So the lighting situation is a little off, and I I apologize for that. Um, but it's not. We're not gonna let it stop us. We're still gonna keep going, keep getting this motivational clean with me going here so I am going to pull out my shark apex duo clean today this bad boy is sturdy uh, and it definitely gets the job done however I don't use it a whole lot because it is very heavy um, but I needed something with big guns today because I wanted to get the garbage shampooed and so I needed something that was really gonna do a good job vacuuming and getting all the hair and all that up so I can shampoo. Like, I say that I'm all right, cry on the inside. I wish you were my man. Hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered. So a few months ago, we actually redid this bathroom. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and do so. I'll try to remember to leave a link for you guys. And anyway, we are absolutely loving it. Um, it was a super easy 
affordable redo. I painted the cupboards and the medicine cabinet in the mirror and then we put some new peel and stick tile in and you guys it just changed the space completely and again we are still loving it um, you know it doesn't take a whole lot of money to just make things different and brighten up a space hey I say I'm doing all right I'm fine hey I say I'm doing all right I'm doing just fine but I'm scattered scattered and I cry when you're I will say though, the only downfall is, for some reason, the paint on these cupboards is not holding up very well compared to my kitchen cupboards that I painted a few years ago. Um, I don't know what the deal is, I don't know if it was, maybe I didn't get it sanded well enough, or maybe it was the type of paint, although I use the same brand, so who knows. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to do some touch up there around the knobs. But I will also say that I want to change out these knobs because every time I open them, I cut myself on them. They're super cute, but they're they're just not functional, I guess, if you will. So, anyway, I did pull out the scrub and bubbles for the inside of this sink. The countertop is like a quartz, uh, which I'm still working on finding the right cleaning materials for that. I just used some water on that wet sponge and kind of wiped it all down. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this toilet cleaned and get to rocking on the rest of the house. So, just a like tip from Tammy here, <laughs> or side note if you will, if you guys are replacing toilets, replace them with ones that like don't show the the piping or whatever on the bottom. Like, make sure it has like a flat surface. They are so much easier to clean. I kid you not. We have the normal, I guess, kind of toilet in our main bathroom, and I hate that I have to go through the sides of it and clean all that out it's such a pain where this toilet is so much easier with the smooth sides to clean so if you're changing toilets you're in the market for a new toilet make sure you pay attention to how the sides of the toilet are because i i promise you it's it's a total game changer say my name stay with me till the stars fade away and your scars don't your scars don't say my name stay with me till the stars fade away and your scars don't your scars don't hurt your scars don't hurt alrighty guys I figured it was time to get rid of these cutesy little sheets um, I'm hoping winter is pretty much done and they're polar bears and penguins, which kind of represent winter to me. So I'm trying to, you know, shoo it away, get rid of it, send winter, it's farewell, goodbye. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and take these sheets off and put our gray flannel sheets on. Yes, we are still going to be using flannel because your girl gets cold at night and I don't like a cold bed. So, um... And yeah, we live in Nebraska, and although I said that spring felt like it was coming, uh, the wind chill definitely makes it feel like negative 5 degrees today, so that's Fahrenheit uh, for any of my, my followers or watchers that are out of the U.S. Um, yeah, so I still want to use flannel, but I did want to go ahead and ditch the winter-themed, Christmas-themed sheets. So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we, baby The night is young, so let's have some fun If you love 
So this is too funny not to share. Uh, that shirt that you guys just saw me holding up, I was actually talking to my oldest, um, who is home because she homeschools. But anyway, <laughs> I it's been a while since we used these ones. Um, I've just been washing and replacing the other sheets, or not replacing, but putting them back on after I wash them. And so it's been a hot minute since I have used these gray flannel sheets. And when I went to put them out on the bed, a t-shirt fell out. And I am like, I do not recognize this t-shirt. It, it doesn't even look like anything that I've ever seen my kids wear. Well, apparently it's my almost 13 year old's shirt. I had no idea. And she was like, I was looking all over for that shirt. I, <laughs> I have no idea how it got in the sheets, guys. I usually don't wash clothing and sheets together. Uh, yeah, so I don't know how that happened, but I thought it was kind of funny, so I wanted to share. I don't know if you guys have noticed, uh, if you guys have been around a while, I have started kind of putting my pillows a little different of a setup on the bed. I'm really liking this setup. Uh, I just think it looks really cute. But anyway, now we're going to go ahead and take down these sheer curtains. They need washed so bad. I am embarrassed to even say how long it's been since they've been washed. So I'm going to go ahead and get those thrown in with the sheets. Uh, when I do that here in a second, honestly, I'm debating on even putting them back up. I mean, you'll see in this video at the end of this video, I did end up putting them back up, but, um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep them or get rid of them. We've had them for quite a few number of years and they're just kind of getting discolored from the sun. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> let me know. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Should I just leave the white panels up? Or do I need the sheer to go, you know, just kind of give it a little dimension? You're the fire, you're the flare, you're the song inside my head. And I will taste every note, feel so good when you're in my head. And it's the road I figured and the curse I've been living, the flag I'm given a signal. So I'm just going to go ahead and get ready to get the sh carpet shampooed. I am picking up everything that I can. Um, obviously I can't go and move the dressers and the bed and everything like that. I mean, I guess I could, uh, but I couldn't do that myself because these are like solid wood heavy pieces. But so I just move all the small stuff that I can and then I'm going to go ahead and vacuum in here uh, before I start shampooing the carpet. So I don't know how often you're really supposed to be shampooing your carpets, so I'm curious how often you guys shampoo your carpets. Uh, do you guys do it like biannually, quarterly, once every month, once every week? I, I'm really curious. Um, I try to do it every few months or if I notice, you know, there's a lot of stains or something that I really need to just get up. Um, what sparked my interest of shampooing this this particular day uh our older cat had decided he was going to eat 
some trash, uh, and he was puking everywhere. So I really needed to just needed to just get that uh, the stains up off the carpet, and so that's kind of what sparked it today. But I really should be doing it more often. I you know I always have the goal to do so. I just don't get it done. But anyway, guys. Also, um, this is the uh, Hoover Power Scrub Deluxe Carpet Cleaner. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, I have used it for a few, well, I think like maybe a year and a half, two years now. I definitely do have a re review video on my channel for this uh, that somehow decided to take off compared to other videos of mine. But anyway, um, I absolutely love this cleaner. So if you guys are interested, I did get it at Target, but I can try to find one on Amazon um, or somewhere like that and link it down below for you guys. Again, it's my absolute favorite. And I just use the Hoover Pet uh, Solution, I think is what it's called. So I will try to remember to link that down below also for you guys. You know, the other thing that I love about shampooing the carpet is it gets it all nice and fluffy again, um, especially in those, like, heavy, heavy traffic areas, like in the hallways and stuff. Um, I don't know. I just, I just love getting that fresh. Uh, it smells so fresh. The carpet just feels nice and fluffy, and I just love it. Outside of getting stains up and stuff and getting the dirt and grime out of it, or out of the carpet. I just love how soft and fluffy the carpet feels again as well. Um, also, another tip from Tammy here, um, make sure if your machine, so this machine has a wash cycle and a rinse, not cycle, but a wash uh, side and a rinse side, make sure you are taking the time after you shampoo your carpet to, go, to going back and renting as well. You want to get as much as that of those soap suds off of your carpet because that soap, those soap residue or leftover soap residue is what the dirt and stuff kind of attracts to. So if you're not getting that off, you'll notice that your carpets are getting dirtier faster. <laughs> So this wasn't really on my list, uh, but somehow when I dust, I miss things. Uh, in my last video, I told you how I missed, I always miss my one shelf uh, below my clock. Well, I also miss this. <laughs> I don't know why, but I never think about dusting the railing. And you guys, when I was coming up the stairs from changing out the laundry, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to grab the cleaner and just clean this right now. Um, do you guys have spots in your house that you guys miss on accidents? Like, it's literally not on purpose. I just don't think about it. And then when I see it, I'm like, oh my goodness. So, usually when I find areas like that in my home that I'm like walking by and I notice that it needs cleaned and I have the time, I will stop and clean it because, yeah, because otherwise I'll forget again because, you know, mom brain, I have four kids. <laughs> It's in a busy, busy schedule. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this railing all cleaned up. And I am using the uh, new Love Make Pine Scent. I kind of did a review in a previous video and I wasn't 
sure about the pine scent, but you guys, it's growing on me. It really is. It smells really good. And her, her multi-surface spray is just amazing in itself. I am here with my friends and we're dancing. We can feel all the obstacles go away. That's how we play. So I'm curious guys, do you guys prefer like more music and less talking or do you guys like these kind of chit chatty videos? Um, I know I've been awfully chatty today, <laughs> uh, so I hope that's okay, but let me know down in the comments, do you prefer more music? Um, is that more motivational for you or do you guys like the chatty content um, of me giving tips and just kind of talking about my day or things like that? Let me know. Also, I get a lot of comments saying that I go really fast. Well, these videos are sped up because if they weren't, this would be a three hour long video. <laughs> Um, so in the next clip here, I will show you, I do go very, 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 very slow. Not only do I go slow, but I also go over spots a few different times um, with the shampooing. And then again, like I said before, make sure you are taking the time after you shampoo the carpet to rinsing the carpet. Trust me, you're going to want to do it. Get those extra soap suds off the ground because that way the dirt isn't sticking even more than it already is. So, do you guys remember the spots that I was talking about earlier where the cat decided to puke up um, some stuff? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm getting ready. I'm just refilling so I can go ahead and deep scrub those spots on the carpet. Uh, I'm just using the hose attachment. I was having a little bit of an issue getting it attached, but I do get it. Um, and once I do, I absolutely love that this is part of the, or the vacuum or the shampooer. Um, because it makes it so much easier to get on those 
you know, hard spots that don't really like to come up with just the regular shampooing. So, uh, just a close up here. See how well it cleans those spots. Ugh, so satisfying. I love this. I love this shampooer, you guys. I just wanted to mention also um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Living with Cambria. She is just like my spirit person, I swear. Um, I found her, I think, maybe a year or so ago, and she has been such an inspiration to me. If you guys have made it this far in the video and you know who she is, or if you don't know who she is, definitely go check her out. Um, give her a follow. Uh, I just love her. Again, she is so inspirational. I follow her on Instagram as well. And she, you know, she really, po she posted something the other day that kind of just kind of made an impression on me about making sure to always be yourself. You know, don't, don't conform to others because social media is a dangerous place. You know, it's, there's so many people on there, just everything looks perfect all the time, but it's, that's the point of social media, I think, is to post when things look pretty, when posting when you're happy, you know, stuff like that. And that, that's just not real life. So just make sure you're not comparing yourself to others, you know, do you, you know, you got to live in this world for yourself and, you know, in your family and just make sure that you are happy with how your home looks. And if it's not always perfect, you know, my home is not always perfect. I promise you. There's dishes in my sink right now. Um, there's dirty clothes on the floor. There's food on the counters. It, you know, nothing is ever perfect or as perfect as social media makes it think. So, and if, you know, even like with decor and stuff, make it for you. You have to live in your home, so you have to be happy in your home. And if, if happiness is letting the mess live or whatever, or let it, letting it go for a little while so you can do other things, go for it. Do whatever makes you happy. I just want to kind of tell you guys that because I know that I kind of struggled with that for a while and I still kind of struggle um, comparing myself to other content creators, you know, because my channel is so little and I just want it to grow and I'm like, you know, in due time it will. So I definitely appreciate all of my current subscribers and future ones that will come eventually. I just want you guys to know that you guys mean a ton to me. So I just kind of wanted to share that message with you, you know, yeah, I don't know where this is going, but Anyway, if you guys have made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much. It really means the world to me. You guys have no idea. I wish I could express, or I, I just don't know how to express how grateful I am for you guys. Like a ghost in my mind I can't escape you I need to believe it was right Letting you go Cause you are like a ghost in my mind I wanna escape you But I do not believe it was right Letting you go I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Cause every song just reminds me of you and it kills me. No, it was.
is the last little bit of the video, guys. I want to thank you so much again for following along with my YouTube journey. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please give my video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how your day is going. I, I would love to know. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so, so much for watching. Bye, guys. The scenes just go on I'm hearing your voice in my dreams I wanna escape you I really think I made a big mistake I want you to know Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified every time I upload. Um, if you are a regular subscriber, thank you so very much for supporting my channel. And thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I know it's been a while, but as you can see, this is filmed, not in my normal uh, wide format. It is like an up and down format, if you will. That's because I am doing a 30 day, or a 30 bags and 30 day declutter challenge. I am doing this over on my Instagram and on TikTok. Um, if you guys would love to follow me over there, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but I wanted to include these since I am doing this extreme kitchen clean and declutter uh, today for you guys. So I just did a few areas of the kitchen um, here, but I do make sure and hit the rest of the spots in the rest of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you again so much for watching. Now, let's get to finishing this clean. Also, don't worry, the whole video is not filmed this way. The rest of it is filmed in your normal YouTube format. So, if you want to go ahead and speed past this, you can. Otherwise, enjoy! I say that I'm alright, cry on the inside. I wish you were my man. Hey, I say I'm doing alright, I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered. Hello, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing an extreme clean of the kitchen. <laughs> Um, it needs to be cleaned. It is terrible. I want to go through every drawer, just kind of get it all cleaned up, maybe some decluttering, and just again, an overall clean. Um, it's been a little while, so bear with me. No judgment, guys. Um, I don't judge you, so don't judge me, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, let's get to cleaning. Alrighty guys, we're going to go ahead and jump in and get right back to cleaning out these drawers. I just wanted to wipe the counter down a little bit before I put uh, any clean towels and stuff like that on it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just basically pull everything out of every drawer. Um, I have a lot of like recipes or like magazines with recipes and all that in there. <laughs> You'll see more here in the next drawer, but I did want to go ahead and pull everything out so that way I can vacuum and then wipe it all down. And you guys, just wait, just wait until I show you how much uh, vacuuming, like how much grime and crumbs and Lord knows what else um, <laughs> that I got out of these drawers. You guys will be shocked and disgusted. I'm sure of it because I was. And yeah, so make sure you stay tuned to see that because that'll be coming up here in just a little bit. You came into my life And with that bed You give me falling twice Yeah, you're an angel And always on my mind I wanna love you like I do on my own Yeah, this is what it's about When it's just you and I And the stars in the sky And the heart on the moon Alrighty, so these drawers are all done, cleaned out, and gone through. Don't worry, there will be towels coming in here soon enough. They're all be wa being washed at the moment. 
but it looks so much better, so much cleaner. Yeah. So we're moving on to the spice drawer and this guy gets dirty fast. Um, you know, spices just naturally, I guess, spill out of their containers. So I did want to go ahead and get that all vacuumed out. If you're wondering what vacuum I'm using, it is the Hoover One Power. Um, I did a review on the cordless stick vacuum on the same, like, branding, I guess, if you will. Um, and this is just the handheld that came with it. And I absolutely love the handheld. The uh, upright one, not so much. But <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to the knives. And yes, the next drawer that you see it gets stuck. It does not open all the way uh, because the handle of this knife drawer is in the way. I don't know who designed this kitchen to do that, but it is what it is. Uh, we get it figured out. <laughs> There it is, guys. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I got that much out of the drawers. How disgusting is that? Uh, give this video a thumbs up if that disgusted you. Like, <laughs> no lie. It disgusted me, so I get it. I, I, I get it. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm using the Love Mag Multi-Surface Spray. I love, 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 love her Multi-Surface Spray. It is amazing. It gets everything that is stuck on. Just, it's just amazing. But anyway, um, oh, real quick. I did add some lemon essential oil to that cup of water there you see. Um, I am putting it in my microwave tip from Tammy. This makes everything wipe down so easy you'll see here in just a minute um but while it's in there or in the microwave i wanted to go ahead and get a few other things done but anyway back to the love make spray you guys if you haven't bought it yet what are you doing you are sleeping on this product i promise you i am not trying to upsell it because of love meg or megan or whatever um you guys i would buy it regardless of whose name is on it it is the greatest product ever i love it um i will say i much rather prefer the cucumber melon scent over the new pine scent that just came out um i'm i don't know my daughter says it's fine. My husband says it's fine. It, maybe it's fine for a lot of other people. I just don't love the pine scent. But go get you some of the cucumber melon. Promise you, you're going to love it too. I decided while I was cleaning the sink out that I should probably clean the disposal. I don't remember the last time I did it. It was probably a month or so ago. I'm not really sure. Something like that. But anyway, so I thought I would do that real fast here um, while that microwave is getting done as well. And then I was also kind of scrubbing while the disposal was running as well. You know, two birds, one stone, guys. Make life easier, not harder for yourselves when it comes to cleaning. Give it to me, baby. I wish you guys could see how dirty this microwave actually is. It is very hard to tell in this video, 
but it was gross. I promise. I am not cleaning a dirty or a clean microwave. It was dirty. Uh, but anyway, it just made like cooking that water for just, I think I did it for about four minutes or so. It just made everything wipe off. There was no elbow grease whatsoever. Alrighty guys, we're finally getting the towels folded and put away in the drawer here. I do like to roll them. I feel like they fit better. This drawer is really thin, like it's probably not even four inches deep. <laughs> um, and so you can't really stack towels, so I like to roll them. It seems to work great for us. Uh, everything fits in there that way. So we're going to go ahead and get that done and move on to the dishwasher. I was actually not planning on cleaning the dishwasher, but I opened it for whatever reason and found that it was absolutely disgusting. So I decided to give it a little bit of scrubbing and then I used the, uh, the Lemmy Shine or I think it's Lemmy. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Uh, dishwasher cleaning powder. So I went ahead and decided to run that on a normal cycle, uh, you just dump the powder in the bottom and run it. I've never used it before, so we'll see how it goes uh, once it's all done. But on to just wiping down the appliances. Again, I am using the Love Maid multi surface spray. Yes, guys, you do see a sink full of dishes. This is the next day, so these are dishes that just need to be recleaned um, for some reason or another. They didn't get cleaned very well, so <laughs> they're in the sink. They need to be hand washed again. Um, I didn't do it in this video because I figured you guys had already seen me do that. So I also was going to clean the inside of this oven because, yes, Lord knows it is nasty just like the sides but I went ahead and did the sides and then I ran out of time before I needed to go pick my kids up from school so we're gonna go ahead and scrub the sides here you guys I really should be pulling this out far more often than I do uh, again no judgment guys please this is just some real life moments here Alrighty guys, so just a reminder of what it looked like before, what, oh my gosh, that is so embarrassing. Um, but now, it's all better, it's all clean, ugh, gross you guys, I need to pull this out like once a month at the very least. Oh my goodness, so, anyway, got it put back, picking up the rug now so I can go ahead and sweep up the mess I made. So typically I would mop, however, um, I gotta go pick up the little ones from school. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything swept up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Being Mrs. Frazier, or hello and welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and follow along with my YouTube journey. Join my family. I am so happy to have you guys here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we have a bunch of cleaning motivation, but first we're going to go ahead and start off with these pancake mix muffins. Alrighty guys, so we're just using the Members Mark or Sam's Club brand 
pancake mix. It is a pre-made pancake mix and I'm just following the directions on the back as far as mixing goes. Um, I can't remember if I used two cups, I think. I think is what I use. Um, anyway, but we're going to go ahead and mix this uh, just like we would for our pancakes. And then I am going to add some mini chocolate chips and some sprinkles. I was going to do blueberries, but uh, Target didn't have any blueberries that day. So you can use pretty much anything you would like to add in. Um, like I said, chocolate chips, blueberries, bananas, strawberries, raspberries, pretty much the options are almost endless but I would recommend mixing in what your what toppings or whatever you want to use because I did not and they kind of just stayed on the top which I mean the, the muffins turned out just fine the kids liked them they took them for a snack to school but I would definitely mix them in next time I make them Alrighty guys, we're going to put those in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. While those are baking, we're going to go ahead and finish cleaning up our mess. Tip from Tammy, when you are baking or cooking or whatever the whatever you're doing, um, definitely clean as you go. Put things away when you're done using them, when you're done with the flour, sugar, or whatever. Put it back in the pantry. When you're done with that spoon, make sure you get it in the sink. That way when you're done baking everything or done cooking, you just have a small mess, usually just to wipe down the counter or, or maybe some dishes, you know, the final dishes left over. But it won't be such a huge, huge mess. So just keep that in mind when you're baking or cooking next time. But I think it's time to go ahead and check these muffins. They are done. Perfect amount of time. I think I did cook the next ones at about 11 minutes. But they are perfect. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of their little muffin pans. You guys, these were really hot. I don't know why I was using my fingers, but I did. So. We're going to pull them out of the muffin pans, bake the rest of them, and then we'll get them bagged up and ready for the kiddos for their snack at school. Things got so complicated. All I wanted was your love. In this time, should we break it? So again guys, the options are really endless with these as far as what to flavor them with. Um, next time I definitely want to try blueberries and I will be mixing the flavorings or additional you know, chocolate chips into the batter instead of just sitting them on top next time. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and finish up here and get all these dishes cleaned up while the other set are baking.
All right, you guys, so you guys are going to have to let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys like the speed that I have my videos sped up to? I personally like watching videos sped up, <laughs> cleaning videos sped up. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I usually watch cleaning videos at like one and a half to one in three quarters uh, time speed. Um, I don't know why, I just do. So I have a tendency to make my videos kind of faster. Um, if you guys like that, give this a thumbs up. If not, comment down below and let me know if you want the videos kind of slowed down a little bit or if there's anything specific that you guys would prefer to be slower over faster. Um, I don't know. I make these videos for you guys, although I do love making them and creating them. You guys are important too, so I would love to hear your opinion on that. But anyway, now that we're done with baking, it's time to move on to the cleaning. I am going to head into the regular bath. This is our main bath, um, the bathroom that all the kids and my hubs uses. So. Yeah, I don't usually come into this bathroom except to clean it. And yeah, to no, no surprise here, it was extra dirty. So we're going to go ahead and get to scrubbing. I'm just kind of getting all the dust off the wall and the shelf here. And then we'll get back to scrubbing the sink and the toilet. I'm hoping you wouldn't change me. You got the same old thoughts, be my referee. To know what your favorite bathroom cleaner is. Um, I did just use scrubbing bubbles on the sink. I'm using the method anti-back on the toilet um, inside the bowl. I think it was Lysol. Sometimes I use Clorox bleach cleaner. Um, but you guys, I struggle with bathroom cleaners. I don't know why. I have just never, ever, ever found a bathroom cleaner that I love um, that disinfects and cleans. At <laughs> You know, I, I don't know what the deal is. I just can't find anything that I absolutely love. So, like I said, right now I'm using the scrubbing bubbles on the sink. And, you know, it, it did okay. It's it's whatever. It's not anything great. Um, I'll use it until it's done. But, you know, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys use. I will say, though, I am using a regular toilet bowl brush on the toilet. And I am going to change that up. Um, I just need to go to Sam's Club and buy one of those Clorox, like the Clorox toilet one, I think is what it's called. I do have one in our master bathroom and I love it. I've used it for a number of years now and it really is my favorite. Um, I still use Lysol and Clorox bowl, Clorox bowl cleaner just because I feel like I need to. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why I'm goofy like that, but anyway, it's time to move on to the living room and these naughty cats, they are being so ornery today while I was trying to clean. You'll see them a lot, I think, in the video, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and tidy up the couch. Um, oh, another thing. I need you guys to tell me pillow inserts. Tell me about your favorite pillow inserts because... These pillow inserts have feathers in them, and although the feathers seem to, you know, chop better, <laughs> um, I hate them. They come through the pillowcases. 
And you guys, I'm forever finding uh, feathers stuck to me. Even when I'm at like stores and stuff, I will randomly find feathers poking me from these pillows. It's so annoying. And so I need you guys to let me know what inserts you guys are using for your pillows for your couches. Real quick here, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am still doing the 30 bags and 30 days decluttering challenge. Um, I know I haven't posted any shorts or TikToks or Instagram stories about them uh, this week. I have just been incredibly busy and so I just haven't got around to doing them this week. But those will be returning, I promise. Um, we have a lot going on so we're definitely needing to declutter everything. So, or we have some big plans, I should say. So decluttering definitely needs to happen. Um, and so those will be returning. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. So those shorts will come across. If not, definitely follow me over on TikTok or Instagram to check out those uh, stories or videos, if you will. They're just a fun, quick motivation. Um, if you need some, you know, super fast motivational uh motivational decluttering inspiration <laughs> if you will so definitely subscribe so you guys are following along and get notifications when i upload those shorts um but yeah so back to getting this dust you guys i swear this black furniture is just ridiculous i i can literally dust this and the next day it'll be so dusty again I don't know. It's a love-hate relationship with the black furniture, you guys. Even our bedroom, though, the dark furniture in our bedroom is the same way. But I, I just love, I love dark furniture. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it's a pain. It definitely is a pain. Those of you, those of you that have the dark furniture, give this a thumbs up because I know you feel my pain. So, funny story, every time I dust or clean, I always manage to forget this spot. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I... I, I don't know. There, there's just no excuse, guys. Um, I just I just manage to always miss it. So, it's like extra, extra dirty here. So, anyway. Um, and I do apologize for taking a minute here. I was just answering a text on my watch. Um, there's kind of a not good so great thing going on right now with a friend and so I was just kind of responding back to her um, if you guys are prayer people if you could just you know without going into any details or anything to respect her privacy um, if you could just pray for her you know that's all <laughs> but anyway we're gonna go ahead and move on to vacuuming if you notice this is a different vacuum than you guys usually see I did go ahead and pull out my shark duo clean the or the apex duo clean um 
I love this vacuum, but it is so heavy that I usually leave it downstairs and I just use it to vacuum the basement in the basement set of stairs. But I brought it upstairs because it wasn't working, so I needed my husband to look at it. Um, and since it was upstairs, I decided to go ahead and use it. Again, I absolutely love this vacuum. Shark makes, like, the best vacuums ever. I will never, ever buy anything but a shark ever again. I, I <laughs> no joke, I promise you that. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and finish up vacuuming here, and we'll get moved on to the bedroom. On my own Yeah, this is what it's about When it's just you and I And the stars in the sky And the heart of the motor There's so much better if I'm wrong If I could live all my life tonight Where I'm on the road I wouldn't die There's nothing I want more So every morning when I clean up my room or tidy up my bed, make my bed, whatever. I always turn this diffuser on. I love this diffuser. I got it from Amazon. I will try to remember to make a link for it down below in the description. But I am using these plant therapy essential oils. I'm using peppermint, lemon, and lavender. I love the mix of them. However, I don't love the plant therapy essential oils. I'm not, I, I just don't feel like they put off that much scent. Um, so if you guys have a favorite essential oil, make sure you comment down below and let me know what it is. Or even just to let me know what blend, I guess, of oils you like to use. Um, I'm always on the hunt for new stuff because I'm very new to the essential oil world. to mention what dusting spray I'm using. It is the Method um, Wood Cleaner. It smells amazing. I think it's an almond scent if I remember correctly and I just love this wood cleaner. Um, I switch back and forth between this and the Love Make Spray. Um, honestly it just depends on what I grab for the day. <laughs> There's really no rhyme or reason behind it but I just wanted to note that that is what I'm using. I wanted to bring to your attention real quick that cream colored vase or vase, however you want to say it, um, that used to be blue. If you guys go back in some of my older videos and look and see like this bluish green teal uh, vase, that is it. Um, I got the idea to spray paint it from Tell Vacuum to His Part. She is spray paints like everything, you guys. And so I was like, okay, I don't want to, you know, throw this vase away. It's a perfectly good vase. And I didn't have the money really in the budget to go and get new decor. So I was like, okay, we're, we're going to try it. I had some cream colored, like it's like a stone type spray paint, I guess, if you will. Um, and... I love it. You guys, it was so easy. It covered so well. It's not chipping or anything. I dust it 
it's holding up so well. And so I just wanted to, you know, pass on the little, uh, I guess, tip, if you will. If you guys want to save money with decorating and you have some items that just don't really match your decor or your taste anymore, try spray painting them before throwing them out or before like donating or before, you know, breaking your budget and going to buy something new. Just, just try a little spray paint. I promise. So this chair or rocker was my great grandma, I think it is. Um, it was her rocker. She gave it to my mom when my mom was pregnant with me and my dad paid to have it refinished. Um, and honestly, it probably needs to be re-glued. I'm a little afraid to re-glue it myself, uh, but it's might need to be re-glued because it might be, you know, being relocated. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, I don't know what to do, you guys. I don't know if I should just try to relocate it by its like that, or if if I should re-glue it. I, you know, I don't know really what to do. It's super fragile. Nobody sits in it because I don't want it broke or anything. It's more of like just kind of a decor piece at this point but I love it I absolutely do not want to get rid of it um, but I'm just trying to decide what to do if I should if I should fix it myself or if I should pay to have it done the the stain on it looks absolutely beautiful still the seat or that leather piece in the center is still perfect um, it's just the glue is coming apart but you guys that I'm almost 36 so it it was glued that's how old the glue is uh the chair is like double that so anyway <laughs> i don't know what to do comment down below if you guys have any like you know any video suggestions or if there's somebody that you know um in like the nebraska or like omaha council bluffs area that you know that maybe works on that type of stuff um anyway any suggestions? Let me know down in the comments, guys. So just another tip from Tammy, uh, I hate laundry, you guys. I, I just loathe it so much, um, but when you do your laundry to help keep, fro you know, keep your house clean and organized, fold your laundry when you wash it. Don't, don't let it pile up. I mean, I know they're clean and you know, whatever, don't live out of the pile. Fold it and put it away as soon as you get it out of the dryer. It makes life so much easier. Um, and then that way you don't have like a bunch of laundry to fold all at one time, or you don't just have like this big pile of laundry building up, you know, 
go ahead and get that done. It takes less than five minutes usually to just get it folded and just put it away. And then that way it's, you know, less chaos in your home for you. You can keep kind of a peaceful mind just having, you know, that stuff out of the way. It's done. It's over until the next week anyway, right? <laughs> um, or if you're a family of six like us, it's an everyday occurrence. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, anyway, guys, that's basically it for today. So go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. I would uh, greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button on your way out. Thank you again so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.